Bakhmut has one of the highest results during this war. More than 23,000 people have applied to join the Guard of the Advance. And the military man who has shot by the Russians for saying glory to Ukraine will become an angel of retribution. This is What About Ukraine channel. Day 377. March 7, 2023. Currently, over 23,000 applications have been registered for the Guard Advance, of which 5% are women. The lists of the ranks of this formation will not be made public. These brigades will be main power to counteroffensive operation in nearest future. Another major prisoner exchange. 130 military personnel have returned home, from which 87 defenders of Mariupol from Azovstal and 35 from the Eastern Front from Bakhmut and Solidol. They were exchanged for 90 Russians. And now let's look on the map and our northern borders. Here the self-proclaimed President Lukashenko gathered his friends from the KGB and other structures today and angrily reported to his Belarusian media, which are funded by the country's budget, about the situation surrounding the sabotage with the A-50 aircraft at the Machulishi airfield. We have already told you earlier that Belarusian partisans carried out these actions with the help of two quadrocopters, but according to Lukashenko, it was a planned special operation by the Ukrainian security service, probably the same people who came up with the phrase special military operation helped Lukashenko with his insane speech. And after some time a video appeared, which looks more like a movie, where a completely random person played the main role and claimed to have committed this terrorist act. At the end Lukashenko started shooting again that the West is trying to involve Belarus in the war that President Zelensky begged him for a non-aggression pact, then insulted him by said that Belarus will not go to war? No comments on this. What to say about insane people? As for the border itself, there are no significant changes. The Ukrainian side continues to build defensive lines and fortifications because it's better to be prepared for everything. Now let's take a look on Kupensk. Here, for more than a month, the armed forces of the Russian Federation in all social networks write about the successes in Hrenikivka that they have already reached the approaches that they have already reached the approaches of Dvorichna, Masutivka and Sinkivka. But as the front shows, there are no changes at all. Although there are constant battles continues. Next we are going to see Svatove. Several motorized rifle brigades are also concentrated in this direction, which have very little equipment but still a lot of weapons. The front line in this area has been stabilized in recent weeks. All attempts of the enemy to conduct offensive actions are stopped by the defense forces. And now let's move further. Minor clarification were made on the Leman criminal line. Here, near the settlement of Dibrova, the enemy came close to the forests, which we talked about in previous issues. Russian troops continue to use a huge amount of artillery in this direction. It is not possible for the enemy to achieve significant successes. Now let's take a look northern part of Bakhmut. Near Stolidar, the enemy resumed offensive actions, trying to move to Razdolivka, Vasukivka and Vesele. There was no success in the last day. 
in Bakhmut area, the enemy conducts the most active offensive actions. The Ukrainian defense forces are trying to conduct not only defensive actions on the Bogdanivka Khromova line, but also conduct offensive actions on occasion. As for logistics, almost all bridges over the local rivers have been completely or, completely or partially destroyed in the Bakhmut area, which, together with the mood, greatly hinders the delivery of the necessary supplies to the front. In addition, the Wagner group continue to advance further north on the small settlement of Dubovo Vasilivka, so far only succeeding in bypassing it step by step. The occupiers also try to move in the direction of Ivanovsky. Ukrainian defenders also repelled these attacks. Towards the evening, information was received that as a result of constant counterattacks of the Ukrainian defenders, it was possible to push back the Wagner group from Hromovy and the Bakhmut Chasifyar road. About the situation around the city of Bakhmut, yesterday evening a meeting of the Supreme Commander in Chief was held, after which the President made an appeal to close the issue around which discussions and especially spe speculations continue. I want to be frank about such topics. Unfortunately, there are many different disinformation messages from those who can't even hear completely closed conversation about defense, but say something about some alleged decisions on defense issues. The commander-in-chief and the commander of the troops were united not to retreat and strange them. And this position was anonymously supported by the Stavka. There were no other position. And uh, to end this video, we want to read a poem. O scientists of ancient time, they didn't even see the wine, but oil fluffed into monks' mouths. And you, a holy man for fathers, dispressed all over the wide world and carried crumbs of bread and wort to poor kings, rye, sound by royals, will not be saved by any loyals, and people will grow up and rise, the un unborn kings will die together, and on renewed holy land will be no enemy, no traitor, but Razel will be son and mother, and people will be on the land. By Taras Shevchenko. Thanks you to all the soldiers whose steadfastness and perseverance are destroying the occupier's army in Donbass. Eternal memory to all those who gave their lives for Ukraine. For Ukraine. Glory to hero. Glory to heroes. Slava Ukraini.